goodbyes. You shouldn't say goodbye to summer just yet. By planting late summer flowering plants, you may lengthen the time your garden is colorful. These bloom late throughout the season, extending your enjoyment of this season's bounty and providing honey and pollen to insects that would otherwise go without. In this video, we compile a list of late summer flowering plants to help you keep your garden colorful for longer. Number one, Crocosmia. The late summer and early fall garden is not complete without Crocosmias. This South African plant has more than 400 cultivars, so you can pick from types that bloom anytime from early summer to late fall. Any pieces that break off generate their own developing stem, which is why some Crocosmia can spread and in rare situations become invasive. In zone six to nine, Crocosmias can survive the winter. Number two, Japanese anemone. The Japanese anemone is the perfect plant to add a splash of color and sophistication to any late summer landscape. This perennial flower is a fan favorite due to its beautiful appearance and delicate petals. A range of light shade to full sun is ideal for Japanese anemones. Put them in a spot with plenty of organic materials and good drainage. They can make it in hardiness zones four through eight. Number three, Penstemon. Penstemon start blooming in June. But if dead flower stems are trimmed regularly, they can continue to put on a show until late September. They grow to a manageable 75 centimeters in height on average and thrive in well-drained soil and full sun. They are considered hardy only in zones seven to 10. However, they can actually thrive in colder areas if the soil is not waterlogged. Number four, Hellenium. With their lovely daisy-like blossoms are a surefire way to add some late summer vibrancy to your yard. They thrive in full sun and wet, well-drained soil. Soil drying out can be avoided by consistent watering. Hellenium clumps can get overcrowded if not divided every few years in the spring or fall. Helleniums can be planted from zone three to nine. Number five, border sedums. These sun-loving perennials really stand out in the latter part of summer when their tall stems are covered in flat, brilliant pink flower heads. In the spring, the flower heads remain green, but by August, they have taken on a light pink hue and are in full bloom. Growing sedums in a border requires full sun and soil with good drainage. If you're going to be growing them in a container, Add some grit to the compost to help the soil drain properly. Zone four through nine are suitable for planting border setups. Number six, Phlox paniculata. The perennial herbaceous plant Phlox paniculata can reach heights of two to four feet and forms clumps. Flowers bloom in a wide range of hues from around midsummer to about midfall. It is a fantastic choice for a bird garden and blends well with other perennials. They do best in full sun or partial shade and on soils that are consistently moist but not soggy. The hardiness zone range for Phlox paniculata is four to eight. Number seven, autumnal blue. The autumnal blue lilac, commonly known as the California lilac, is a hardy, evergreen, low maintenance, and versatile plant. From early July to the end of September, this perennial favorite is blanketed in a sea of deep blue blossoms. Zones eight to nine are ideal for autumnal blue. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel.
You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.